traders i'm looking at the euro dollar and what i've done i've just opened up this three chart layout and down the bottom i have the euro currency index here the exy and the bottom right i have the us dollar index the dxy and it's important to understand the individual currency strength or weakness it's i mean it's one thing to look at a chart and say that the euro dollar is bullish but you really need to uh, have a look at these and determine you know strength or weakness on the individual currency itself so the euro is definitely looking strong the dollar index definitely looking weak now the thing with these two charts is this here has a gap it gapped up let's just mark that up okay so i'm really interested in these uh i'll we'll call it an imbalance i'm really interested in well actually the imbalance continues all the way through if you have a look at this thin candle this is one-sided trading pretty much now we could pick up a fibonacci and pull it from the, the low to higher just looking at the swing price swing and i'm always expecting a move into equilibrium all right so i'm looking at the 50 percent uh pullback in relation to this previous swing price swing low to high right so a pullback into this this level here would make sense to me and looking at the uh, us dollar it's pretty much the same story i'll pull the fib from this high and a pullback into e equilibrium well here's the thing with this one as well we have this thin candle here if you look there's nothing left and right so it's a bearish imbalance so i'm always e expecting price to look to uh, rebalance in other words potential pullback into this level and that coincides beautifully with the 50 to 61.8 fib zone all right and 50 percent is equilibrium uh equilibrium being 50 percent of this previous price swing so after looking at that i'll uh, have a look at the euro dollar chart so let's just go out of here now and uh, well, we just drop that down in fact we can i'll leave them there right -o. so here's the thing right with the us uh the, the euro dollar okay we have here this bullish imbalance thin thin green candle nothing left and right of it i'm going to mark that up call it that and again it's just look following the same protocol i'm going to pull my fibonacci from the low to high so i'm looking at this swing swing low swing high and i'm looking for the pullback into equilibrium right now this has already had a bit of a, a dip down right so it's going to be looking for liquidity under under this this level here uh so that big money can pair their orders basically if they're looking to buy if they're looking to go long now they've already dipped down into here so you know the question is does it wiggle around here and then trade north possibly if it does i mean it could do see the algos uh, smart money algos and this is not my concept right this is uh ideas from my mentor uh, i've had a couple of different mentors in the past smart money algos are going to price this wherever they basically want to take it now if they're looking for liquidity they could they could just push it up from here and entice more buyers into the market that builds up uh, sell stops under okay all through here and then at some stage they're going to drop it back down and pick up those pick up those sell stops i believe and the other thing is the market well the market's looking for two things one liquidity and the second thing it's going to look to rebalance so if this happens to you know mess around in here and then trade north i'm going to let it go my bottom line is it needs to pull back into if you're buying this discounted uh, range here in between the 50 well between the, this low and 50 percent of this price swing right so for me to get involved i want it to trade back down in here right so if it doesn't and it trades off i'll let it go and look for the next opportunity if it trades back down in here then i'm going to be looking for price to set up let's just go down to a 30 minute looking for price to invite me in basically right All right so we have really interesting price action we've got this imbalance and it happens to uh, be nested with this 30 minute time frame imbalance as well All right mark that up point of interest and i want this to trade back up into well that's the dxy sorry we're on the wrong chart guys my bad let's just open up the euro dollar righto yep okay bullish now i want this to trade back down into 
into this level for me to get involved. And the kind of thing you want to wait for will be, I've done this in other videos, but, you know, look for the range, look for a bit of a, a fake out, a shake out, it trades off with speed, comes back, rebalances. All right, I'm going to be looking for this price action to play out. You know, you want to get involved in this rotation down in here. And it's, it's a very simple concept, guys. Trades back down. It ranges. It does this to entice buyers in. More stop losses go under. They hit those stops. All right, so this is big money. You want to be riding the coattails of big money, basically. And then I'm going to be looking for this move here. I want to see this trade with speed to set up an imbalance, as I've mentioned earlier, like this this type of candle here. I want to see an imbalance through here. Then I want to see it come back down into the imbalance, okay, on the 30-minute, 15-minute, even a five-minute chart. And my entry point will be something like that. So we want to see a break of markets, a bullish break of market structure on the lower time frame. And then, you know, that's an opportunity right now. We've got the London Open has just occurred we're going to, we're heading into the new york open and i really want to see this head south with a vengeance now the thing that we've got here have a look at this range is this setting up i mean it may be or it may not be right but is this setting up this is this price uh, action that i was talking about at ranges bit of a shake out this is the fake out here right fake out it entices sellers into the market stop losses um, go in above and then they hit those stops right now look it could be that uh, this is setting up to basically do that if i mean look th this could be the fake out here right that could be it and then they shake out everybody down in here i mean that could be the case sometimes it's really difficult to pick you know which direction this, is. this could continue bullish from here given that we've got this price action setting up but again my thing is I'm not prepared to get involved with this unless I see it pull back down into these levels. In other words, I want the discount. I don't want to be buying at a at, at a premium. I want to be buying at a discount, right? Again, guys, if this trades off without me from, from this level, I'll let it go and wait for the next opportunity. I want to see it drop back and then I'm going to be interested. That's it. I hope you've gained something from the video if you have thumbs up if you can but definitely leave a comment guys your thoughts matter with that i hope you have a uh, fantastic day safe trading and we'll see you in the next one